British Airways Flight BA2157 signaled the official reopening of Tobago's tourism industry for international visitors. It's the first international flight to the island in almost two years. Councillor Tashia Boris, Secretary for Tourism, Culture, Antiquities and the Transportation, and Louis Lewis, CEO of the Tobago Tourism Agency Limited, were among the officials on hand for the flight's arrival at the ANR International Airport. The Secretary and the CEO gave some insight on what the return of the airline means for the island's tourism efforts. Now, without a doubt, the return of BA to our shores is a signal that Tobago is once again open for business. BA has been one of our long-standing partners and they have been integral to the international airlift to the destination Tobago, so we are delighted to welcome them again today. Well, at this time, we are embarking on a very aggressive stakeholder consultation. And that would be the first step for us to immediately start to craft some plans in the short, medium to long term to ensure the revitalization of the sector. What we're looking at at the division, certainly in terms of plans, is product enhancement. We're looking at enhanced destination marketing. And certainly, as the chief would have pointed out, we are looking aggressively at increasing our international airlift in Tobago in the shortest possible time. We thank them for sticking it out and for those who need assistance we are here to provide that assistance. The Tobago House of Assembly through the Division of Tourism, Culture, Antiquities and Transportation is committed to um, creating a facilitatory environment for them to to be able to rebuild and to be able to to rebound from the effects of COVID and for that we need collaboration and certainly in this time we need innovation. Well certainly we want them to fall in love with Tobago again. We want them to um, enjoy the warmth, the people, the food, certainly our beaches. We are happy that our beaches are open again, albeit for a very short time during the day, and that's something that we will start immediately look at. Um, we've partnered with CAFA in training a number of our stakeholders. Over 200 stakeholders have been trained in safety protocols to ensure that it can be infused with the vacation activity and they have been certified. More than that, we've worked with the international agencies that travel agents and tour operators are looking to. And we are proud to say that Tobago has the highest number in terms of a volume of persons who are trained in the World Travel and Tourism Council stamp certification as a safe destination. Those are the things that really add to the appeal. We intend to train all the service providers. We go across the, the visitor chain as well as to the untraditional areas where people interact with each other. Because at the end of the day, tourism is a service industry and that is why we are doing it. But we are taking, we, we, are, we are initiating it with several parallels. One, we've partnered with a world recognized company and we are also building capacity because we are doing it in collaboration with THTI. And we are also, and that is also to ensure that there's some sustainability that when the project ends, that there's a continuity. We want to be able to stand out as the destination that says service delivery. Nobody chooses Tobago by favoritism. They chose Tobago because they identified with what they are looking for. It's available here. So that they go back and say that. Tobago is as safe as they have advertised. Tobago is as enjoyable as it has been advertised. Tobago provides a beyond ordinary experience. So these people are very important for the progress that we are looking forward to. And it's for us to interact with them, but interact with them in a safe way and provide what Tobago is best at, is providing good hospitality in a very unusual sort of um, variety of experiences. And that is what we would like to leave with them. British Airways airline will operate the London Gatwick to Tobago route weekly on Mondays and Fridays.